A lot of you have been enjoying some of my raiding climb videos that I've been doing, but this past week Hikaru and I played the new variant Fog of War on chess.com. The rest of this video is going to be us playing it, but I figured I would give you a little bit of an intro. In Fog of War, uh, you only see squares that are available for your piece's vision and if your pawns can go forward. So a square will appear visible if a pawn can move to it. So for example, look at this move. Now my queen sees this way, my bishop sees this way. Oftentimes you are not seeing lots of squares uh, until the opponent's pieces come into your line of sight and then you can potentially take them. So you've got to be very careful about positioning your pieces. Anyway, enjoy the video and hope you enjoy the games. Let me know in the comments what your favorite variant is. You guys are just getting here. This is Fog of War variant. So it's... Uh when you can only see squares that your pieces visualize. Everything else. This again, man? Nah, you, you, you pranking me. I don't go here. Okay. Okay, so I mean, because I already have a lot of information based on what you did. No. Yeah, because you you get you get you gave away what you gave away what it was because you, you said not this again. So you just, you gave away like what your first move was. So like I already have like complete information. I just don't know what your last move is. Maybe I'm like twelve head. Okay. We played what nine moves? So you played one that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you already castled. Okay. I don't I actually I think castling is like a social construct. I don't I don't really partake in such peasantries. Oh, you played that way. Really lovey, really. Yeah, I'm creative. So you went back to D5. You went the other way. Okay, whatever, dude. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Levy. That's that's what I thought, Levy. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh my god. Oh, that was stupid. Of course you you played H4, H5. That was just dumb. Damn. Should have played Knight F8 instead of Rook H4. Uh, that was not a smart gamble. Levy, you're giving away too much information. You, you got well, I'm com I'm completely that. lost already. <laughs> it's uh, but yeah, because the... you gave away information. Like at the start, you gave away too much information. You said like you said you're doing this again. Like and then you're like n like you're you're pranking me. So it's obvious what your fir that your first move was knight f six. That you played knight f six e six knight c six. That's but how I you, always set but, up. But, but but then you played g six, which was bad because then you gave me the whole attack on the king side. Like, and then you said you should have gone knight f8, which actually was losing anyway, just to be clear. But you didn't know it was losing. Why? Because knight h7, right? Well, I mean, do you know? I'll tell, I'll tell you. Like, I know exact. Well, I don't know exactly where your pieces are, but I'm almost certain I do. Yeah, this is the only thing that I can do. Now we'll see. Now we'll see. Like, I mean, I can, I can, I can have fun here. Let's see. Do I have fun here? I, I'm, I'm kind of curious if I'm right or I'm wrong here. I either lose the game or it's checkmate after your next move. So I'm kind of curious. No, I, I, th I, th I think you I think you know. Oh, there's no mate. That's really funny. Okay. So it's mate, but like I it's not even there's no checks. So it's oh, mate, okay. but I have a free turn and okay, then like okay, I'll go Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got scared there for a second because I thought you, I I knew your queen was on e7 or d8. I just didn't know where which one it was. But yeah, see, Levy, you you gave uh, it's what it's shift alt f right? Okay, yeah, go. yeah. You gave like you gave away too much information because at the start when I played d5, you said I'm pranking you, so I knew for sure that like you had a knight on f6. 
And then you didn't take with the you didn't take with the D pawn, so I knew you took with the F pawn. Okay, yeah, that's but yeah. Then that's you played not too... G six, which was terrible because like I knew for sure what your setup was, which is why I I decided to just attack you right away. Like now you see the whole board, right? Yeah. Like now what I did makes perfect sense because I knew exactly what you did. Oh, you put that knight on d5. Oh, I miss oh I misevaluated where you put the knight though. I thought you put that knight on e8 and you, you put the other knight on d5. Oh, I actually got it wrong then. But I played h4. Well, see, when you played oh no, oh yeah, I didn't know you had a bishop on d3. Yeah, that Yeah, that's exactly the problem. Uh, yeah, knight f8, bishop h7 is still winning. Wow. Yeah, but you, you just you gave away too much info. Well, now that I've been discovered, I have to play a different opening. Okay, let's try again. I wanna, okay. I wanna. Okay. Okay. One, 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 one last game. I'm gonna okay. play something Got totally it. different. Okay. Hmm. Damn, what okay. do I play though? <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. You know what I do like about this levy is that like I can't get information. Like if I if I try to get information by pushing the pawn forward, it just makes the move. I can't like randomly try to get information. Well, flank pawn pushes is what I what I uh refer to like a four h four. But sometimes, yeah, obviously, like you castle. Mm -hmm. them. Gotta play non-standard ways, that's it. Okay, so now... <clears> hmm. <throat> playing very solidly. I, I just, I don't know what you have. No one knows. <laughs> I don't even know what I have. Is this worth the information? Is it worth it for the information is what I'm trying to figure out. All right. Well, I know what you're thinking. I think it is worth the information. I'm going to pretend to look at the ceiling and calculate stuff. Or should I just play to confuse you? Play to confuse you. Make a tournament with this variant just with Grandmasters? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this is fascinating. Oh, I was. I can't play that strategy in that situation. Oh, but you have no idea wh where my stuff is. I can't play that strat if I'm gonna if I'm gonna put it there, because then I lose the vision. Okay, so so it actually was a mistake. Okay, let's go. See, and Levy, you gave away way too much information there, because now, like, what? What? Well, no, you're still in the game, but you gave away a lot of information there with that move. I'm I not the imposter, the so... <laughs> I was an admin, Hikaru. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. This is 
is risky too, though. I think I have a pretty good idea where your pieces are, though. All right. Wait, what? Oh, you put it over there. Really? Wait, what? Hot sauce. I think I know where your pieces are now. It's only a question of where that one pawn is. I don't know which square it's on, but I know you have a pawn on one square. That's what I'm missing. So funny, because I, like, know nothing. <laughs> I just don't know which square that pawn is on. That's the only thing that I'm not sure of, more or less. That's a big question. What square is that pawn on? I'm going to take a gamble and hope I'm not wrong. I'm wrong, yeah. Yeah. Wait, but why gamble? You just... Be, 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 because, like... Be, I mean, the reason I... The reason... Be, because I, I because if I'm right, then I can reach an end game and I know that I'm winning. That that's why I, I would I, I if you didn't have the rooks doubled on the file, I win the game. I think. But based, based on where based on where your bishop is. I think in the in the end game, solidity is always going to win. Because like, there I mean, there's no way to like. Uh, wait, I can't go. Oh, you can see that. Oh, I didn't realize you can see that. Your what? pawns only see diagonally when there's something to capture, otherwise it's a dark square. Wait, what? How is this not possible? What? Hey. Oh yeah, well I hung that. Yeah, no, I mean the th the thing is like when you um like when you, when I played rook d8, I knew I knew exactly where your pieces were. Like I I oh, I was h3, not h4. Like I knew exactly where your pieces were. I just didn't know if you had doubled the rooks or not in the d file. So I thought if I could trade the rooks, I would be able to win because I I had the two on one on the queen side. That's why I played rook d8. Yeah, yeah, but, like, I mean, that's why I never play moves like rook d8, because I just, like, you need to be 100, like, I would have played bishop e7 before I played rook d8, just because you you never know. Like, I lost the end game like that yesterday, I just... But it's, but it's a 50-50, I'd rather play a 50-50. I mean, and because, like, like I said, like, I literally, like, when, when, when we reach this position after bishop a3, I, I mean, you can watch the VOD, but I knew where every one of your pieces was, except for the h1. I wasn't sure it was on h3 or h4. That was the only thing that I wasn't sure of. So I, I, know I, I, I thought, what? You knew I had a pawn on g4, because when I played g4, you saw it with the knight on f6? Yeah, and, and, and I saw the rest of your... So so basically, when I played... The reason that I knew was because when I played queen d1, I saw your knight, and I saw your pawn, your rook, and your king. So when we traded the queens, I saw four of your pieces. Oh. And then when, you, then when you played knight e5 and I took, I saw your knight on a4. And when you took on e5, I knew it was not a pawn that you captured with because if it was a pawn, you would have taken my knight on, you would have taken the knight on f6 with the pawn and hit the bishop on e7. Ah, uh, so when I, that's why when you took my queen, you said it was a mistake. And I, I should have taken, yeah. I should have taken your queen because then I would have gotten vision of six pieces. Uh, Five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you would have gotten more. Yeah, you would have gotten more info. Like it doesn't matter objectively, but yeah, I think actually it's probably a mistake in a way. Is the is the variance of the game within three moves or four moves like does it matter? Like for example, if I know where five of your pieces are, but then five moves you just shuffle around like one square, you can really change your position. I'll have no idea. That's true. That actually that would have made more sense. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't. I don't know. Okay, but now that it's 1-1, we have to play a tiebreaker. And then... No, but you know, I, I, I made a mistake, though, I realized, because Rook D1 actually is, is completely the correct move, not not because it's not because it's the best move in the position, but because you just support your Rook. 
So actually, Rook D1 is a very logical move. So I should have actually suspected that you would do that because then I can never play Rook D8 and win your Rook. It's just a good guarding move in Fog War. Oh, yeah, and so it I gives you no info. It just gives you yeah. no info. Like, I see your pawn yeah. on A5 and G7 in that position, but of course mm -hmm. I'm not going to take them because right. I'm assuming, yeah. Yeah, and I, was actually, just gonna... I should have been expecting that. Hmm. So, I mean... Like, also, if I know your pawn... Well... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I should know at this point that the B5 square is an outpost for my rook. Because I know you have a pawn on A5, and I think I already know that the C6 pawn moved, but... Uh, did... It... C6? Because I played C takes D5, so I know that you had yeah. C6, E6, mm -hmm. but I don't know if you ever moved the C pawn, I don't think. Well... Oh, you don't... Oh, that's true. You, I guess you don't actually know that. You could have played E, D5, and then... Uh -huh. That's that's actually true, right? Uh, no, no, no. I do know, because then if I had played... You took on D5 right before I got there, so I would have known. I would have known. Cause... Oh, that's true, that's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, because your pawn would have seen the vision of the Yeah, because you played D4, yeah. D, E3. So your D pawn already right. moved, and then you took on D5 again, so I know you don't have... Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, there there you go, so... But I can't track all that in a, in a 3 2, so. Yeah. All right. Oh, by the way, you also missed Rook takes King. What? When, you, when I hung my Rook on D8, the King was on G8. <laughs> no, you moved it. Not for one move, I did not. <laughs> I hung my King for a move. Oh. Huh, okay. Well, I'm trash. That's nothing new. Let's go... Trying some cool stuff this game. Except my moves aren't registering. There we go. I want the info. I think I already know your info, though. So I don't think it's worth it to jettison. How many moves have we played? Eight moves? One, two... One, two, three, four, five. Five of eight. So I just figure out what your other three moves were. Let's go for it. What are your other three moves? It doesn't make any sense. Like an audience member on the set of Blue's Clues right now. Oh, you did that? What? Oh, okay. Why did you do that? Okay, so that's one. So the only question is where's your bishop? Where's your bishop? I'm just making arrows so that my chat understands where I think your your bishop is, but we'll see. Fog of War is like blindfold chess, but less easy. Your pieces... I mean, yeah. <laughs> you don't know where your opponent's moving, and you don't have the notation. That's the difference. Right, exactly. I think this is my favorite one so far, for sure. Well, it's the most creative thinking, so it's... Uh... I Well, I, actually, I also like... Um, what was the other one? Pawn Sideways. I, or, yeah, Pawn Sideways I really like, too. Okay. Oh, that was a mistake. I should have got more info. That was a bad move.
Yeah, but that's kind of like the benefit of this game is like... Oh, I was wrong. Oh, that's why I should. That's why I blundered. Yeah, that that was my mistake. I should not have done that. So where is everything? Yeah, see, I, I, sh I that was that was terrible. Yeah, I didn't get the info. That's what. That's why I should have done this before. I didn't get the info. Yeah. No, I think you're just gambling too much. No, Which... no, no, I, I, I know exactly what I did wrong. I played the wrong piece to, to F five. That was my mistake. I played the wrong one because I didn't have the info. Uh, it uh, says I disconnected, so that's good. I disconnected too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Sit here. Do it. Do I refresh? Do we refresh or not? I don't know. Don't don't refresh, Hikaru. Don't, don't refresh. do not refresh. I repeat, do not refresh. Oh, okay. Okay. I just got absolutely oh man. Okay, well it's not my internet. Something's just It's a sad note to end on. It's such a nice position. I think. Are you I did. sure you did at the end? I'm not sure you did actually. I was gonna really I was about not. to play rook takes g3. Yeah, and then I go queen takes h4. And your rook is pinned. So I would have had my pawn disappear, and then I would have defended. Uh, I would have defended my rook. I don't know. I don't know what you had, but but aren't you down three pieces at that point? But your king is going to get checkmated. Well, my king, uh, he had and plans. You're lose your bishop too, I think. Which bishop? Your light square bishop. No, he's on e. F I don't even remember e four. We'll just continue the game like this. That's what we'll do. We'll just blindfold fog of war. You'll, uh, yeah, it's really funny what happened on, on my stream, by the way. The game didn't end. And oh, I ha it's back. It's back. Oh, lovely. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, at least we spoiled two moves for each other. Oh, man, you weren't joking. You were not joking. Oh, man, okay. Damn. All right. Woo! This is tense. How many pieces do you have left? A queen or rook? Do you have a knight left? Or a dark squared bishop? No, I took the dark squared bishop. Don't shake it. We'll take it. It's covered. Okay, you could take that. That that you could take. Ends. Oh, it doesn't. Sh oh, it doesn't show the vision for the check. Oh, when you're in check, the vision. Ah, uh, it doesn't show the vision. Okay, I, I got. Yeah, I, I I wasn't sure if you, I because like since I didn't see the vision for queen eight check, that's why I just took the rook. That was that queen eight was winning anyway, of course. But no, yeah, that's what I that's what I assume. You know what? I I gotta tell. You, I th I think castling the king is just a mistake. Like I think you have to wait a long time to castle. Yeah, see, no, but my mistake was that I didn't put the bishop on f5. That was exactly my mistake on move 14. Because if I put the bishop on f5, I would have known you had a knight or you had a bishop on e4. That that's that was my mistake. Uh, e, on move 14. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, like I was gonna go bishop f5, and then I played yeah. knight f5. And knight f5 is actually a good move in regular chess, I think. But not well, in actually, this form. even instead of pawn f5, you could go bishop f5, right? 
No, no, but I'm saying when I went F4, I saw something mm. on E4. Or I saw the square highlighter or something. When you went after F4. Right, you, you knew I put E4. something on E4, yeah. So that's what, that, I knew it had to be a knight or a bishop based on the opening. Yeah. And that's why I should have gone bishop F5, because then I would have known what it was. But whereas when I went knight F5, it, like I don't actually, I don't get any information. So like, I have no idea what's going on when you play, when you play rook G1. Because like, I thought it was a knight. I didn't think it was a bishop, but regardless of what it is, like, like if I, if I think it's a knight here, I don't actually know if G3 is hanging or not. Like you played rook G1, but I had no idea. Cause I had no information. Yeah. 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 Whereas if I go bishop F5, then I know that it's a bishop or a knight. And uh, then it's like, then, then I know where your pieces are. Well, okay. How about this? How about this? When, when I played rook g1, instead of jumping into e3, you could just play knight h6. Right, but see, the thing is, is that I didn't know, so I assumed it was a knight. I thought you'd gone d3, knight e2, knight e4, since I had no information. That's but what that's I what did. I'm saying, like, knight h6 is just, it's less risky. That's... Yeah, but you... I mean, I had already blundered because I didn't go bishop f5. <laughs> okay, but the material is equal here, right? So it's... It's like, if you, I think if you play knight h6, now you know I have nothing on the f file. You know I have a pawn on h4, you know I have a pawn on g3. I mean, I more or less knew what your position was. Because in my chat, I, I like, the only question to me is where do you put your dark square bishop? And I highlighted b3, bishop b2, um, because that's where I thought you put the bishop. So like, yeah, I mean, I can go knight h, well, I can go, no, but if I go, no, but Levy, if I go knight h6... I still don't know where your pieces are. That's the problem. That's why. That's why. I mean, not not going bishop about five was was terrible, because I had to get information. I just but if I you, had to get the info. But if you play knight h six, like next move, you can play like bishop g four, for example, because you know it's safe. Because you know where my pawns are, and your knight covers your bishop. So, oh, you don't know where my light squared bishop is, but like, yeah, because I, that's the problem. I don't know. I, I assumed, I assumed actually that it was a knight on e4 because I, I knew your bishop had to be on b2, so I thought you played a traditional d3 knight e2 knight e4. That, that oh, was, no, that was, the, that, 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 that's why, that's why it was such a bad. Like knight f5 is a great move if I see the board, but like I didn't, I didn't know. So like that's the problem because I assumed yeah, I mean, when you went bishop e4, you had, you had gone d3 knight e2 knight e4 to put the knight on e4 on the outpost. But I just, yeah, that, that's why, yeah, knight f5 was like a terrible move. I should have just gone bishop f5 because then I get the info. And then you have to commit to, to something. Yeah, that's uh, a good mistake. You, uh, you, you, you killed me the first game, so you made me change my opening. So now I have a new Fog of War opening that I'll uh, practice and, you know, reform. Although, actually, even if I go bishop f5... That still gives me no info on the d-pawn. Like, that still gives me no info on to whether you've played d3 or not so it's actually i mean wait it's not, why not maybe it's not as well because okay if i play bishop f5 what you, what would your next move have been oh no um, because that oh no it does give me a ton of information because if you move the bishop i see the knight yeah and if you play d3 and i take i see the pawn and i see the ah oh, i see the pawn on the rook oh yeah if i no no yeah. higaro higaro if i play d3 your d4 pawn now has a dark square in front of it Really? Yeah, because your d4 pawn sees a free square. It can push forward. Oh, oh, I didn't actually, actually that would have told you immediately whether or not I had a pawn there. Your pawn can move forward, which means nothing is there. Oh, okay, okay. Forward yeah, yeah, movements okay. with the pawns are open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you. Mm. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That that I didn't think about. Okay, fair enough. 